Okay, so I'm making my last YouTube video today, and this is this is my current journals, by the way. Uh, but I just want to thank each of you for your um, friendships and support and comments over the past seven years. I'm not sure that we really made it through the past seven years, or at least not one piece, without your friendships and kindness. Um, I've been making videos since 2013, and I've thought a number of times if I wanted to keep making videos or what I could possibly make videos about still. Um, and I've been thinking it's finally time to call it a wrap for now, like for at least the foreseeable future. I'm not sure if YouTube will ever be a part of my life really in the future. I mean, hopefully that the stars and sun would align or whatever that phrase is that makes that, you know, possible. It kind of feels like YouTube's also been a ghost town in the written journaling community for a while. Uh, it's sad to watch the written part of the journaling crowd kind of fade away online there's a lot of art journals and bullet journals and the different kind of themed ones but i haven't seen many um much written journaling content in a while some of you guys are still active and that's um i enjoy it watching one of the people who i originally who originally made me want a youtube journaling channel back in 2013 uh, i mean 2000 it was 2013 i'm old <laughs> um seven years ago when i got into this uh, you know, don't make videos anymore, and, um, I've been thinking about whether I should, you know, just don't want to post videos, and just post it whenever, you know, the timing feels right, or, or what, but I wanted to make a naked video while anyone's still even watching YouTube, just because, um, I don't think a lot of you know how, um, you know, how much your friendships and kindness have meant, and, um, I got into YouTube seven years ago, um, just hoping to share a hobby and journaling with people who got it and were into that hobby and all the things that come with it. But I really found so much more than that. Um, I found people who understood both the hobby and um, and who understood me, um, something I really desperately needed at the time. Um, I think YouTube, that was a good thing about YouTube, especially when it first started. There was more casual, personal, unedited videos, people just sharing their lives, and you could feel like, someone can relate to you and like you're less you know weird or alone or like whatever because other you could find someone who had the same you know interest or situation problems like special hobbies or anything special hobbies um, <laughs> or anything issue and um and that's what got me into it and youtube has been kind of videos are becoming like so edited now and um or they're not about written journaling, and part of the problem with written journaling is it's a lot of what you write is so personal that you can't really post it, so I kind of see why it's not as popular as art journaling or bullet journaling and stuff like that, because um, I know I don't post, I haven't really posted many pages in recent years, my, my pages are usually like super detailed about, uh, you know, like my address or school or job or other my friends lives like their situations or whatever it's just like it's hard to find something you can post that share written journaling without um altering how you journal yourself and like having to censor stuff out just because you want to post stuff online so I can see why written journaling is really hard to share online but it is sad to watch the written journaling community just kind of feel like it's kind of fading away and it's kind of a ghost town um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I came across all of you and really connected with so many people here that just, I wasn't expecting to really find any of that, um, on YouTube and it's really, um, I need another word for it, a godsend, I don't really use that word, but um, it's really a treasure because I never would have expected that, and um, I don't take stuff like that lightly. Um, finding people who can relate to you or give a shit about you is really rare. Um, so that's a, so yeah, that's a like crappy thank you, <laughs> thank you attempt. I'm really not good at emotional shit, obviously. Um, it's also been really fun just sharing special interests like pins and paper products and washi tape on here. Um, there's not many people, I've met many people in my life who were into that kind of thing. Um, and it's a fun escape to like, just, you know, like play, play, not really play with your pins, but <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, if you're desperate enough to play with your pins. Um, but just like look through your hobbies and your things that you collect and 
all of that, just sharing those with each other is like an escape from daily life and something to, you know, share your knowledge about. Like if someone um, was talking about a pen and I tried it and that like made me really feel like inspired to write more. I mean, that kind of thing is really a neat um, thing about different types of communities like YouTube. You can um, learn a lot from each other and try different creative styles and stuff. Um, I'm trying not to be like overly sappy in this video, but it's, um, this is my attempt at a <laughs> thank you video nonetheless. Um, so yeah, while I'm, you know, not making YouTube videos for the foreseeable future, I still want to keep in touch with each of you. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever make videos at some point again, hopefully my life will be conducive to that, and hopefully the YouTube journaling, written journal writing community gets more active, and feels like less of a ghost town, but, um, but yeah, you can comment on here, um, you know, I'm not disappearing from the internet, and I'm not dead, <laughs> I think I've mentioned both of those things, um, I didn't want to just stop posting videos altogether, because people will be like, just forget I existed to begin with, or, and not, you know, know how much they meant, or, they'll be like, are you dead? <laughs> or, uh, you know, did you like swallow a pin and die? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to do a thank you video while I could. And also, um, just say like, Hey, you know, don't be a stranger to, um, you got, you can, you know, you can comment on here. You can message me on Instagram. Um, you got my mailing address for pen pals. Um, you got my phone number. It's been my Instagram for years, which incidentally no one has ever messaged me with. Um, <laughs> uh, you call, you'll probably never hear back because I don't do phone calls. I'm incredibly bad at that. People call me be like six months later, like, hey, what's up? Um, actually, I don't usually ever reply to begin with, but if I did reply, it'd probably be like ridiculously later after. Uh, but I'm so bad at thank you videos. <laughs> um, and like, I'm trying to be like, uh, I don't know. I, Hope um hope you guys aren't a stranger and stay in touch and I hope some of the crap that I posted over the years is remotely helpful. When I got into journal or when I got into YouTube in two thousand seven I watched a lot of videos on um depression and anxiety and stuff like that and a lot of people just like who are in school trying to figure things out. And I think that um just realizing that other people um you know, going through some of the same stuff or have your interests or any of that can make you feel less alone and more understood. So hopefully some of the crap I posted, someone can relate to. Um, I wanted my channel to be a place to connect over journaling, but also deeper things like, you know, life milestones, um, autism, mental health, and just sharing lives with general with each other. And, um, I really have shared, <laughs> um, uh, my life and you guys guys life ish with a lot of you and that's really special and I appreciate all the memories and the time that you've spent um commenting on my crap and with all the live streams and stuff I'm still tempted to maybe pop in for a YouTube live stream or an Instagram live stream at some point um if anyone's interested um really glad we found each other and have shared our lives together and don't be a stranger um and what else? Um, I don't know that I'll be posting on Instagram photos much for a while, but you can still message me on Instagram or comment on my YouTube, email me, pin pal mailing address me, pin pal mail, that didn't make sense, pin pal mail me, um, text me, like whatever. Um, and yeah, th this is my failed attempt at a thank you video, but I really do appreciate all the um, kindness over the years, it's definitely not unnoticed, and it's meant the world, and for, before I'm a sappy bitch, um, yeah, thanks for all the niceness, don't be a stranger, peace out, bye-bye.